Hello and welcome to Sequel Coach's first video lesson. Uh, let's take a quick look here at our blog. As you see, the address is www.sequelcoach.blogspot.com. Uh, ben and I invite you to come to our blog, check out our information. Hopefully, it'll help you become a better SQL programmer. Okay, uh, this is my personal disc disclaimer here. It's um. Friday evening. It's been a long week and I'm a little tired. You probably can pick that up in my voice. Also, I'm not using a script to create this video. I'm actually producing this video live for you on the fly. If I mess up, uh, just kind of bear with me and give me a break. Okay, I'm going to be using Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio Express. This is a 2005 edition. You will find similar functionality available in Microsoft SQL Server 2000's Enterprise Manager. Um, this area over here is the Object Explorer, and this is where we will be doing our work. If you do not see Object Explorer, try pressing the F8 key on your keyboard, and Object Explorer should come into view. Okay, let's begin. I will click and expand databases. I will expand my database SQL coach. I will expand tables. Um, here's the table we will be adding the index to. It's person data. I will expand this. We see columns, keys, constraints, triggers, and aha indexes. I will right click on indexes, left click on new index. The new index window comes into view, and now we must type in the name of our new index. I'm typing ix underscore person data underscore last name first name. This is a naming convention that I use, and you may want to consider using it in your own work. The ix is an abbreviation for index person data tells me now and in the future that this index applies to the person data table. Last name and first name will immediately tell me which columns the index is on. Now we'll click on the Add button. Now we will be selecting the columns from this table to build the index. Click on Name Last, click on Name First, click on OK. And at the bottom of this new index window, and I don't think you will be able to see it in this video, at least not entirely, in the right hand corner you'll see two buttons in your uh, application. One says OK, one says Cancel. So we will click on OK. Alright, look back over here in Object Explorer under Indexes. We see IX, person data, last name, first name. And as you can see, it's really easy to create an index and the power of doing this is unbelievable. You can speed up your SQL queries by 10, 20 times, sometimes even 100 times faster. Uh, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. And again, please check out our blog at www.sqlcoach.blogspot.com. If you look over here at the right-hand side of the screen, we have a little poll going on. Hey, got a second? Take our poll. The information you want most is... SQL Query Performance Tuning, Solution to Deadlocks and Other Locking Issues, and Best Practices for T-SQL. Uh, please participate. Let us know what you want us to give you here in the way of information. Okay, thank you.